Just arrived in Boracay, Philippines, and we're here in the hotel room. I want to go kite surfing as soon as possible because there are only three days of wind. So here is my kite surfing bag. I bet I can find some spider nets in there because I haven't opened it in months. All right, let's get to it. Let's uh, first of all set up my equipment, starting with the board. Uh huh. Thank you. Right, everything is packed. My stuff is here. Yeah, so we decided to walk. Eight minutes walk from here. Pretty good weather actually. The forecast said that it was going to be cloudy and rainy, so it's a nice surprise. By the way, Peter and Agnieszka, my friends from Poland, are now on the other side of the island. They arrived yesterday and we're probably going to meet them later today. For those of you that don't know, Borokai is one of the best kite surfing spots in the world and Bulabog is the most famous beach on on Boracay. It's supposed to be quite easy, good for the beginners because of the lagoon and shallow water, flat water. It's a lot windy than I expected. Um, I talked to the guy from the kite school, he said he's blowing around 30 knots. Well, I brought a 12 with me and I brought a 9. I think I'm gonna go back for the nine. The lagoon itself is massive and there's a lot of space which is good and today there are not many kite surfers out there so it's pretty pretty good the conditions are great the wind is blowing super strong the only problem is it's the tide when the tide is really high there is no there is no beach to actually launch the kite so that's one of the issues and for those of you guys who are getting to, who are just getting into kite surfing every time when you go to the new spot Always make sure to speak with the local people um, or the kite surfing school and ask about ask about the spot, ask about any dangers that you might come across. It's very very important because every spot is different, every spot has um, different problems with it. So always always do it. Right, I grab I grab my nine meter and the bar. I'm gonna head back to the beach and try to try to launch this little baby. Awesome. But instead of calming down, the wind actually picked up even more while I was out there kiting. I think it was blowing around 30 knots. Great session, very happy. I actually, um, I paid like a fee um, and for the three days I can keep my equipment here in the kite school. The service here is amazing. I have never come across such a good service. I didn't even have to pump my kite, but literally the only thing I had to do is put my harness on. The guys pumped my kite. They, um, they helped me launch it. Then when I landed, they, they grabbed all my stuff, put it in the locker. It's just amazing, really, really recommend it. I'm gonna get the name of this place and uh, post it in the description below. So as you can see there, there is, a, there is a storage where you can leave your stuff, your equipment. Here you can dry your equipment. Here you can wash your equipment. The shower. I mean, really, this place is complete. And that's the chill area. This is where you can just sit down and relax. There's Wi-Fi here too. You can also have a coffee or tea. Ido is now busy looking at her new vlog. Make sure to check out her channel. It's all in Spanish, so it's good for those that speak Spanish or even for those ones that want to learn some. Nomadic brunette. If you're ever in Borokai, you can, you can head over to this spot because it is really, really good. There is nothing in the world that makes me, that brings my mood up more on kite surfing and Idoya. You were there, there's, there's nothing that makes me happier than kite surfing. I was about to chop you. Yeah, yeah, of course. I was not going to say that. True. And kite surfing with Idoya would be like, woo, that would be just a dream. Are you going to kite surf tomorrow? If the wind conditions are going to be a little bit better, and I mean the wind is going to be a little bit weaker, then I think Idoya can do some kite surfing here. Alright, now we're on the way to 
a playa, it's an Italian place in Borokai, that's where we're meeting uh, Peter and Agnieszka. That's on the other side of the Borokai island. Where is Peter? Yeah. Reunited. Nice to meet you. Hello. How is you? Oh. Hi. Hey. So uh, you have a Hello. breakfast for tomorrow? Food porn. There are three things which I love about Borokai. Well, first one is obviously kite surfing, but the second one must be the sunsets. The third thing is the nightlife. There are many beach bars with good music and cheap two-for-one cocktails which you can find on the island. What else can you ask for at the end of the kite surfing day? We're trying to persuade Idoya to get what, which one? Uh, this this one. <laughs> oh, right, no, this one. This one. Yes. Idoya, just imagine, just imagine here. It would look so good on you. Nice place with relatively cheap cocktails, two for one offer with shisha. Let's stay it. The music is good. Pietro is good. Pietro is as usual photobombing me. Playing the charades, Peter Stern. Okay, she sings the Titanic yeah, song. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Uh, Celine so Dion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. no. Okay, you're Spanish. Bailando. Bailando. Are you serious? Are you serious? And with enough cocktails in our bellies, it was time to have a little dance on the streets. Ah!